scare you. You shouldn't sneak up on people. Well, you shouldn't let people sneak up on you. I'm Skylar, FYI. I know. And you are? The guy that saved your life twice and is still waiting for a thank you. Long name. Still waiting. Thank you. Now that sounded more like a fuck you. Sorry, I'll work on it. Now you do that. Why do you keep helping me? Why do you even care what happens to me? Do I need a reason? Most people would have one. Well, I'm um, not most people. Well, if you're so hell-bent on helping me, where were you three days ago? Those freaks almost killed me before you showed up. You could have taken them. I could have been killed. No, I thought that you wanted to die. You forced me to run. You controlled my mind. It's called trancing. And I saved your life. You're welcome. Oh, and I got rid of the bodies and cleaned the scene, so what was that about me not helping? Sorry. It just would have been nice if you'd shown up before I killed that woman. I think that you handled it pretty well. I killed her? How is that handling it well? God, I don't even know how I did it. Maybe Sonny's right, I just shouldn't leave the house anymore. Well, I guess you better run home then. What's with the wooden ring? It's redwood. Meaning? So, redwood is like vampire SPF? Something like that. And if you take it off, you burn. Was the demonstration not enough? How's it work? Maybe I'll tell you someday. But you work on that thank you. Are you gonna help me or not? Help you with what? You sent me a dream, remember? I sent you a dream. Well, I had a dream and you were in it. You said you could help me. Did I elaborate on that? You know what, never mind, because it was just a dream. <laughs> Sorry, I bleed a lot. Yeah, you should get a handle on that. I'm allergic to vampire blood, or at least the stuff I have in me. A year ago, I had leukemia, but my brother is a nurse and a vampire hunter. And he gave you vampire blood to cure the cancer. It worked. Only now... You're a bloodthirsty, raging lunatic. Were you spying on me the other night? I had to make sure you got home safe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what every stalker says. No, it's okay. It's fine. So when you say you need my help, you mean that you need my blood? Yes. It could kill you. I know the risks. If it's the same bloodline I already have, I kick the bucket. If it's not, it cures me. No, you could be allergic to more than one bloodline. Wait, is that possible? I don't know, Google it. One time won't be enough. What do you mean? Assuming the stuff in your system is medical grade, that means it's sire's blood. Which even after a year makes it far more powerful than mine could ever be. So your blood wouldn't work? It might, but you would need a lot of it. Is that a problem? Just not sure how I feel about being your own personal blood bank. Well, you don't have to do it. No, I do. 
Already saved your life twice, why stop now? Just hoping you don't kick the bucket. Can I kill you? Not like I can kill you. That's enough. I said stop! I'm sorry. My name is Max. FYI. You're home early. Dinner's in the oven. Where's Skylar? Skylar is in her room. She's fine. I told you to stay with her. Stop worrying about Skylar. She has vampire blood in her. She can take care of herself. It's not her I'm worried about. You think she'll kill someone? Look, she killed that little girl. I, I don't know how she did, but I know she's keeping something from me. Skylar didn't kill the girl. And how would you know that? You don't know what she's capable of? Hell, I don't even know if I do. I killed the girl, Sonny. Oh, come on. She had lymphoma. She was gonna die anyway. It would have been hell for her. The fever, the chills, the useless chemo. I saved her from all of that. Forget everything I just said. Kiss me. <laughs> 